through the scoring for this one in the first period at 15-12. It was Norwood getting on the board first. It was Darren Doherty, his fourth of the postseason, covering from Mark Cranley and David Herring. Whitby would answer back on the power play at 17-18. It was the captain, Peter McKellar, his self seventh goal of the playoffs from Jay McCauley and John Ross. That would that's the way it went into the first intermission, a 1-1 score. In the second period, Norwood came out, capitalized on a mistake, a giveaway by defenseman Matt Schmidt. It was Mike Cragen picking off the puck in the offensive zone, right in the slot. He put it home, giving Norwood a 2-1 lead. That was at 50 seconds into that second period for Cragen. Just his second goal of the postseason, unassisted. Whitby would answer back. Two minutes later at 2.30, it was Brad Harris getting his first goal of the playoffs from David Silverstone and Matt Schmidt. Whitby would get another one in the middle frame on the power play. It was Jay McCauley at 6.22, his third of the playoffs, coming from Ron Baker and Shane McCosh. Into the second intermission we went. Whitby with a 3-2 lead. You knew the final 20 minutes would be nail-biting time. And Whitby came out and scored first. It was John Ross on a great effort. He had Kyle Musselman with him on the right side. He sort of faked a shot, and as you said, Steve sort of dragged it by the defender, got his own rebound, and put it home, giving Whitby a 4-2 lead for John Ross, his third goal of the playoffs, coming from Garrett Winder and Kyle Musselman. Then Norwood answer back, power play of their own, with the captain Peter McKellar in the box for Whitby. At 12:25, it was the captain of the Norwood Vipers, Dave Stewart, getting his second goal of the playoffs. It's his assist going to Mike Cragen. But then Whitby's top line again with 54 seconds left in the third. Ron Baker putting it home. Jay McCauley and Pete McKellar forechecking like mad down low. They got the puck in the slot. It bounced all over the place. Ron Baker just stayed with it, stayed with it, got a shot, got his own rebound, carried it around Rainey as Rainey was going down and put it up in the open net. And that's the way it would end. It was a 5-3 Game 7 win for the Whippy Dunlops. No, you called it well, Chris. And I can tell you this, folks, everybody listening out there, that was senior hockey at its best. The people here at Whippy were given a real treat on two, you know, the warrior teams. That's what you got to call them. They're both warrior teams. Now, you know, Chris, you're bang on when you talk about the Viper organization. For five years, they've put a great product on the ice. This rivalry is like Peterborough and Oshawa and Major A. It's, there's nothing like it in senior hockey anywhere, probably in Canada, but what a rivalry, and the people in Norwood know it. Every time Whitby comes around, they get to the playoffs, it's something that whole town waits for, and here in Whitby, it's the same thing. So what a great two teams, what a great battle, and what a great exhibition of senior hockey. And that'll do it for us again. Tonight's final score, Whitby 5, Norwood 3. Thank you for listening to Whitby Dunlop's Playoff Hockey, brought to you by Master Mechanic in Whitby, where you talk to the mechanic. Good night from Whitby.